In Pokemon, there are eight gyms with eight different types. What if we restricted ourselves to catching only one Pokemon for each gym we defeated? That means us plus eight Pokemon versus Pokemon Sword. This is Pokemon Badge Lock. Hello everyone and welcome back to this episode 4 of Pokemon Badge Lock. As you can see we have upped our game. We are looking fresh as hell, new cut, new threads, looking so good. Uh, there wasn't a lot of choices so I just kind of went with any new stuff. We still have the boring shoes and the boring bag. But we got cool hair. I wish I could dye my hair this color but I can't. It's just impossible physically for me and where I'm at. Anyway, in the last episode we got to Modestoke, we did the opening ceremony, and this episode we're going to hopefully make it all the way to Tuffield and hopefully challenge Milo. So let's get going. I haven't done anything since last episode other than get new clothes and new hair. So I will meet you on the route that we're going to. Everybody's still hanging out here as if I didn't walk away and turn off the game for 12 hours. They're very, very supportive. And while I'm walking over to this route, if you don't know what a badge lock is, eh, it makes sense. It's only the fourth episode. This is a challenge based on the Nuzlocke challenge. So like the Nuzlocke, if Pokemon faints, it's considered gone forever. Uh, but instead of like the Nuzlocke where you randomly encounter the first Pokemon and that's the only one you can catch, instead you can only catch one Pokemon per badge acquired and the type of that Pokemon must must match the badge you just got. So those are the rules and now we're going to go on through Route 3, I think. I didn't look at the, the name. And... That's a win for Hotman. We did discover last episode that we are uh, over-leveled a little bit, uh, which won't be uh, rectified probably until after the Tuffield gym. The thing about it is, uh, for Tuffield, obviously it's a bit of a problem because it's a grass-type gym, so we're gonna just stomp absolutely. But before that, we do have the mine, so we're gonna be facing quite a lot of rock types. Uh, in addition to all of these random trainers we're facing now. That's a win, once again. And my lovely boyfriend has turned off the AC. So sorry about that little bit of noise. Did not stop us taking $9 from that random little girl. All right, let's go on through. Like I said, when I'm overleveled like this, I'm not going to really go after wild Pokemon. Ooh. Just going to go after the items and the battles, and that's pretty much it. Oh, speaking of, that's a level up for Hotman, which is great. He still has one Pokemon left. Uh, we also evolved Hotman into a Raboot on the last episode, which was exciting. And another grass type. This is really just a preview for what we're going to do to Milo's poor, poor team. Pretty easy battle, and Sonia. Thank you. I know I looked cute. I, I don't know. It wasn't my turn to watch hop. Industry. Thanks for the rope. Can I go now? Okay, bye. Oh, I didn't even need to heal up. Great. Great, great. Another useless revive. Love to see it. Oh, some roly coley, which are not fun to fight in my current state. Could go this way. I think there's a TM up here and a girl. An easy enough battle. Thanks for the nine bucks, girl. 
this TM beat up. That actually might be useful. Not right this second, but in a bit. Yet another battle. This time with a postman. Tad. Thanks for the money, Tad. Later. Don't really need a camping tutorial right now. Another child. All right. That's a level up for Hotman and another bug type. His last one is a Sizzlipede, which uh, was obviously a little bit annoying because uh, it resists our fire and also our fighting. But that reminded me that I have a fighting type move, so rock types shouldn't be too terrible. I mean, they're still going to do a lot of damage to us, but uh, it shouldn't be too hard for us to also do damage to them, which is good. And being this high of a level, I think we should have a bit of a buffer against them. And we've made it. Let's, uh, I think she'll actually heal us up, so... Yeah. Alright, let's go into the Galar Mine. I think we fight Beatty for the first time in here. We shouldn't need to fight a... God, I love, I love the Roly Coley line. Shouldn't have to fight too many battles if we don't want to. This will be useful. These will be useful to save up for when we have a grass type who needs to be trained up. We do have to face you. Of course, working women are good at Pokemon. Oh yeah, that's gonna do the trick. All right, we should be fine. <laughs> Keep getting so nervous. Because for all other Nuzlocks or any permadeath Pokemon challenges I've done, I'm really I'm just bad. I make bad decisions. I don't feel like grinding. So this is feeling this is new to me. Alright. First Galar Mine fight, not too bad. Some woo bats. Do I need that? No. I'll come back. Ooh, do you want that though? An ether. We also want that. There's BD. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That's fine. We'll fight a Roly Coley, and I think we are going to fight that guy to get that Pokeball. I'm all healed up, so it shouldn't be a problem. Let's see, let's see. Because I know that, again, I don't want to be too overleveled for the BD fight, but... There's, I think he has three Pokemon. He might only have two. But I think they're all psychic types, so I don't want to screw around psychic or fairy, so I don't want to screw around with them. In fact, what we should probably do is, first of all, get this. Heavy duty boots. Lovely. Um, we should teach. Beat up is not useful. We should be giving charcoal to Hotman anyway. Just want to make sure I'm not in a place where I can die to BD. That would be sad. Uh, all right. Did we level up from that? No. Let's get up to 19. I know, I know, I know, but I'm being paranoid. This whole first section is such a dangerous time. There we go. That's level 19. You definitely forget an old move. Because we're, uh... Yeah, we're... We're a physical attack... <clears throat> we're a physical attack mon anyway, so... Flame charge will be super useful. I think that actually should put us over the edge. Should be fine. Okay. Hello. Yes. Okay. Debatable. I like BD. Oh, he does have three. Okay. Ugh.
Okay, I think we're gonna be okay. So, Dark type. Should be fine to use Double Kick. I forgot that he had a Gotharita or whatever. Oh, is Gotharita. Huh. Gothit is a psychic? Okay. That's no good. All right. Speed up. <laughs> Gonna get tickled. Oh, uh, that's annoying. Come on. Okay. It's gonna be another attack down. That really hurts. Okay, but we're not confused anymore. Great, great, great. That's Gothita down. Fairy's next. Don't have a dark type move, but that shouldn't be a problem. We should get a dark type move on Hotman. Yeah, Hatena. Oh, wait. Does not have a Milsery? Alright. Hatena is who I was thinking of. So it's going to take three. Let's see how many confusions we can take. E okay, we can take those. We take those. Okay. That's stressful. Okay. Oof. Yeah, sure. Give me 20 bucks, nerd. Of course. Yeah, of course. Good for you, I guess. He's he's collected a lot of plot rocks. But he didn't get Stardust. You missed something. All right. And we made it. All right. Let's heal up. Any items? I think we're going to save these Pokemon trainers for when we... Oh. Do we have to face Hop again? Won't be hard, but... Oh, <laughs> no, it's Milo. I love Milo. What a good boy. I have a, I have a very thick skull. Yes, I am, yes. You can't tell because of my sick outfit. I'm not wearing a nerd outfit. Okay. Alright, I am gonna go heal up, probably talk to Hop, I'll be right back. Oh right, we have to... We have to go look at a mural. I'm gonna heal up first. I don't need to heal up, silly me. Okay. I keep getting told about the... Alolan, not Alolan, Galarian Slowpoke. I can't get a Slowpoke. Would that be, like, not okay? It's a limited time for him, but I kind of want him. <laughs> Let me know. The nice thing about not being able to use revives is that they sell for a good chunk. Alright, we're all healed up. Let's go and talk to Sonya, who is up here. Yes, yes, main character. Please show me the way. I'm gonna go get this Pokeball first, main character. Please don't be mad at me. I'm probably currently speeding through this cutscene because it's very long. But long story short, this is another time when they're like, Oh, the darkest day and it's a hero and... 
uh, somebody came and helped and sword and a shield. What does that doesn't make any sense? Maybe Pokemon can Dynamax? Nah. Also, I got Milo's lead card. And two revives, which I'm just gonna sell. Alright. It wasn't too too long, but we're gonna go straight down to the stadium. Because I would like to get the gym challenge done with. Or the the gym battle done with in this episode so that at the start of the next episode we can catch our second Pokemon. Oh god. He looked our way but then he looked away. I don't think he noticed. Alright, level 19. I th Myla should have a level 19 and a level 20. Uh, so he should be fine because we're going to level up throughout the battle throughout the gym let's do it Yes, it's a very, it's a very difficult gym challenge. We have to get all the Wooloo. Oh, hi, Dan. We have to get all the Wooloo into the pen, which is very, very difficult, as you'll see. Very hard. It's very much a challenge worthy of a Pokemon Master. It's very, very difficult to get all the balls that roll in the correct direction with almost no adjustment. It's very difficult. Ba-boom! And our first trainer battle. It's like the uh, puny missions in uh, Thousand Year Door. Except these ones are easy to control. What up, Samuel? Yeah, we're gonna face some lower level Gossiflers and Eldegosses, most likely, or just Gossiflers, uh, which should put us over the top into level 20, which should be totally fine <laughs> against that uh, Eldegoss. So that's one down. We might not actually get to 20 from... from the... gym trainers, but from... Milo's... Gossifler at the latest, we should. Push those there. We'll go back and fight that trainer back there. Before we move on. You look kind of like the... no? Mark? Okay. And that is the second trainer battle finished. The character animations in this are really cute. I think they, they like have so much life, which is nice. Compared to games that, you know, had none. Other than, I mean, Sword and... Uh, not Sword and Shield, Sun and Moon and X and Y did. But... I don't know, they just... Whoa. What up? I will be reaching him. One thing that bugs me is that th my eyebrows don't match my hair. I mean, it wouldn't make sense because my hair is pink, but... With other hair colors, at least it makes sense. Like in my main file, I'm still the blonde, but I have like my color hair, which is a darker like, brown blonde. At least that makes sense a little bit. Bye, Bounce Sweep. 
And we did reach level 20, so we're not going to have any trouble. One final push. Thank you, Wulu. And let's go on in. Dynamax, you say? Gym leader number one, Milo. Thank you, yes. I do know how to Dynamax. I am going to Dynamax on this turn because there's only two Pokemon, so it shouldn't take me three turns to faint all of them, so. Raboot, you are so large! Goodbye, Gossifleur. Tough as weeds. I like how the fighting one is just Max Knuckle. <laughs> One thing I think would be neat in terms of custom customizability of your trainer is getting to choose your Dynamax throw. Like, since there are obviously different animations, if, like, every time you defeated somebody, you like how you unlock their... Oh, well. I couldn't even finish my sentence. Like how you unlock their, uh, their type of jersey, you can also unlock their animation. That'd be cool. And a level up for Hotman. And that is badge number one. Complete. We can now catch level 25 Pokemon, which is good because we're almost there. And we've gotten a TM, which will be useful in just a second. And 
Yes, thank you. Grass uniform. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Milo. I'm trying to, like, push forward the series, and you guys are really just... Just be on Route 5. Thank you, thank you. So, that is step one of our journey completed. So now, we unlock the ability to catch one Pokemon, and it must be a grass type. So, in the next episode, we will do just that. If you guys have suggestions for what you think I should catch, um, I'm not planning on recording the next episode until uh, some of the episodes are already out, so I will be able to see your feedback. Up till now, I've recorded all of these pretty close together, so I could have a little bit of a backlog, but I'd like to hear your feedback, so next time on Badgelock, we will catch our very first Pokemon, period, I guess, because we were kind of given Score Bunny. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. If you enjoyed this episode and want to give me feedback on how to make future episodes better, you can leave a comment down below. If you really liked it and you want to see what I make in the future, including new episodes of Badgelock, you can hit the subscribe button and the bell, which will actually send you notifications. When I post a new video, just subscribing generally will not do that, which doesn't make any sense, but I digress. You can also follow me on social media, which is down below, and I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.